Hey guys, welcome back or to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going ahead and adjusting these uh, valve lash adjustments or doing the valve lash adjustments on these. We just retorqued the head studs. Uh, after running it a few times, Exotic Performance um, said that there's no need for a retorque, but we just did it as far as um, for our uh, sanity. So just to make sure that everything didn't come loose, even slightly um, it was still pretty tight i would say at least 115 maybe 120 even um, but regardless we retorqued the head studs to 125 foot pounds so it may be something that you want to do maybe you just say heck with it and uh, let it ride either way we're going to go ahead and start this adjustment on the valve train um, we've brought our crank to top dead center we have number one exhaust and intake loose you can hear it all right, we're gonna set an intake to 10,000, exhaust to 20,000, we're gonna set them a little bit tighter. And this is what a lot of your like performance um, companies set them to as well. So a lot of people have been running these specs for years and years. Um, and so I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's not gonna mess anything up if you set 10,000 and 20,000. So let's go ahead and get these valves adjusted and uh, get it started up so we can hear the difference, uh, see if we get any performance gains as far as not really horsepower, but just uh, smoothness, maybe fuel economy, uh, stuff like that. One thing I do want to note when you are reinstalling your valve train after some of this stuff, um, I've said it in a couple other uh, spots in this video uh, if I put them in here, but um, there is on either side of these bridges, there's a dimple. So this side has none whatsoever. It's completely smooth. And on the other side, there's a dimple. So I don't know if you can see it or not I might be able to get a light or something but I think you can kind of see it but the dimple is right here either way on all these the ones that face the exhaust side or, or the left side of the rocker this side are gonna be smooth the ones on the right side are gonna have a dimple in them so if you get kind of turned around you know that the bridges go to the right um, the dimple goes to the right the other thing you want to make sure of is these are torqued to, I think I set them to 27 foot pounds. You also wanna make sure that the push rods um, are seated or the rocker arms are seated in the, the ball of the rocker arm is seated in the push rod um, before you get all this stuff back together because it'd be a really bad day if you started the motor up and there wasn't no push rod in there. So make sure you got that squared away. Next we're gonna get, I think this is a 15, 14 or 15 mil uh, wrench for the lock nut. And then you're gonna need an Allen key and we're gonna go ahead and grab our feeler gauges and stuff. Uh, for the valve lash adjustment on these motors, um, it sits happy on the exhaust side between 21 and 34 uh, thousandths on the exhaust and six to 15 thousandths on the intake side. You wanna make sure that when you're doing this, your motor is uh, below 60 degrees or at 60 or below degrees Celsius, um, or I think it's 140 degrees. Um, so you want a cold motor. You're gonna adjust the exhaust on, at top dead center with number one um, loose on both rockers. You're gonna adjust 135 exhaust and 124 intake. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and do our number one intake at 10 thousandths. So we just kind of taken our uh, feeler gauges and bent them up a little bit just to make it a little bit easier. You're just gonna lift up on this rocker just to get enough space in between it. We're gonna go down until we feel just a slight drag. And then that's where we're gonna set it. Okay, slight drag. You just wanna make sure when you do it,
Okay, we're just going to verify. Okay, slight drag. Now move over to exhaust. All right, now we're going to do intake number two. So I'm only going to show you a couple of these because they're all the same. Um, that way we don't make the video super long. Anyways, you're just going to hold down on one of these, lift up, slide it in there. Should feel some slight drag. You'll know if you go too far because it'll it'll just stop moving. So right there, I can't move it, so I've gone too far. Bring it back just a touch. All right, slight drag, too far. Check it to make sure. All right, I want that one a little bit tighter. That feels good to me. There we go. So you might have to go a little bit past and then when you tighten the jam nut, it's good. So that's where we're going to set it. Now we'll go ahead, we'll set one, two, four intake and one, three, five exhaust. All right guys, so we spun it uh, 360 degrees. Um, now we're at top dead center on number six. Number one is fully tight. And then the back rocker, both of them are loose. We're going to go ahead and adjust intake three, five, and six. And then intake two, sorry, exhaust two, four, and six. And then that'll complete our valve lash adjustment. All right, guys, so we got the rest of our valves adjusted. Uh, again, 10 thousandths on the intake side, 20 thousandths on the exhaust side. Um, we'll go ahead and throw everything back together, start it up, but uh, that's going to conclude this video. Um, hopefully this helped you guys at least uh, get the specs down, the procedure and all that stuff. Um, please go ahead and comment down below, like the video uh, if you found it helpful. 
Uh, we, uh, we greatly appreciate all the info and the feedback that you guys provide us. So as always, thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys next time.